Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today this video is about Microsoft's Windows 11 Insider Preview Build, 25905, which is released to the Canary Channel, as a reminder. As builds released to the Canary Channel are hot off the presses, Microsoft will offer limited documentation for builds flight into the Canary Channel, no known issues for example, also will not publish a blog post for every flight, only when new features are available in a build. Starting with today's build, Windows insiders in the Canary Channel will notice that the name of the branch shown in the desktop watermark has changed back to RS underscore pre-release. As a result of this change, insiders will notice that some features that were previously removed temporarily with the switch over to ZN underscore release have now returned. With this build release, Microsoft is also releasing ISOs for this build. Moving forward and talking about what's new in this build. Firstly we have some new features from the dev channel. This build includes new features from the dev channel, such as dev drive, backup and restore improvements, Windows backup dynamic lighting, the Windows app SDK version of File Explorer and Gallery, and more. Next to that, we have Rust in the Windows kernel. Rust offers advantages in reliability and security over traditional programs written in C, C++. This preview shipped with an early implementation of critical kernel features in Safe Rust. Specifically, Win32K base underscore RS .sys contains a new implementation of the GDI region. Next to that, we have the ARM32 UWP app deprecation. Starting in this insider preview build in the Canary channel, Microsoft has removed support for ARM32 UWP applications from Windows on ARM, as documented here, Windows 11 specs and system requirements. After the OS upgrade, any installed ARM32 applications will no longer launch on your device. Note that this does not affect ARM64 applications. During setup, you will see a message with a list of applications that are currently ARM32 installed on the system. In many cases, the list of impacted applications will be reduced by manually forcing the Microsoft Store to install any pending application updates prior to the OS upgrade. To do this, launch the Microsoft Store application, choose Library, then click on the Get Updates button. After the OS upgrade is complete, to fix any ARM32 applications, you will need to manually uninstall then reinstall those applications from the Microsoft Store. By doing so, you will install a compatible version that will run on your device. Lastly, we have new post-authentication action support for terminating individual processes in Windows LAPS. The new option is described as reset the password, log off the managed account, and terminate any remaining processes. This new option is basically a superset of the previous reset the password and log off the managed account option. When the new setting is configured, PA will first notify and then terminate any interactive logon sessions, followed by enumerating and terminating any remaining processes that are still running under the Windows Labs managed local account identity. No notification precedes this termination. So, these were some of the new things introduced to this build. Moving forward, and talking about the changes and improvements made in this build. For Emoji, with the update of color font format to Color V1. Windows is now able to display richer emoji with a 3D-like appearance with support coming soon to some apps and browsers. These emoji use gradients to bring the design style that customers have been asking for. The new emoji will bring more expression to your communications. For Zoom, in celebration of Marvel Studios Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3, Microsoft temporarily relaunched Zoom.net last month. Microsoft also took the opportunity to fix an issue that was causing some challenges in getting the original Zune drivers to install in Windows 11 with this build in the Canary channel. So now it should be easier to use your Zune on Windows 11. Over time, the fix will make its way through the insider channels and eventually to all Windows 11 customers. Lastly, we have Microsoft Store update in this build. Windows Insiders in all channels running version 22306.1401 of the Microsoft Store and higher will see the following improvements rolling out, more pricing information, to help you with your purchase decisions, you'll now see information about the lowest price products have dropped to in the past 30 days. Introducing AI Hub, explore a new curated section in the Microsoft Store where Microsoft will promote the best AI experiences built by the developer community in Microsoft. This is a space where Microsoft will educate customers on how to start and expand their AI journey, inspiring them to use AI in everyday ways to boost productivity, spark creativity and so much more. So that was all from Microsoft for this build. If you want to know more, follow the link to the official Microsoft blog from the description. Hope it was useful consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.